guys, it's Spacey Sims and Dewey are back with another installment of The Sims for Blackwell Crest, a Highlander Legacy, after the warehouse. And, okay, so last time Candy, you know, decided she wanted to try to work her DJ skill. So she... Is he going to eat or something? Is that why I can't grab my grilled cheeses? I don't know. I was trying to, like, put them in the fridge, but I, they just weren't moving. Anyway. Um, so she wanted to go test out her DJ skills because, you know, that's what she really enjoys doing. Um, so she freelance DJed um, and made some good money. So it's awesome. Um, which is good because, you know, you know, Gideon, I, I really kind of feel like he should start writing some books about the warehouse. Like... You know, um, so I really feel like we should have him work on his writing skill and start writing books about each of his uh, fellow friends. Um, you know, uh, but we'll work on that. And I'm thinking actually that for this challenge, um, I might change it a little bit. Not, well, I might just change it and do short lifespan. Um, because, you know, I've, I've, if you watch any of the other challenges or LPs that I do, I've, I've said this in, like, most of them, but I, I've just really, like, this week, like, realized how long it's going to take me to finish challenges and games. And, and you know me, I like to have tons of things going and I like to try new things and do different things. But I have so many going and I've been doing just one a week like for the last couple of weeks and oh my god like it could take me over a year to finish just this one and it's only five generations and it's kind of like that doesn't bother me but at the same time it's like but all of my challenges are that long and holy crap so I might do short lifespan um I think for right now I'm going to leave Gideon and Candy on long just because they have to have seven kids and I don't want to have seven screaming babies at one time um I also don't want them to age up before we have their kids they because right now they're doing good. I might wait um, until like the next generation and then kind of like switch it or like when they're done having their kids flip it because um, I don't want to mess up the timing with their kids. They already have one baby and I'm really actually thinking that they should try to have another one. I don't know how old our baby is but I think he should be aging up soon. So let's uh, get some romance going on here. Um, you know, because she's, she's really happy that they have, I think what I'm actually, I would love for them to have, again, have an accidental pregnancy, because I really think that that would be great. Um, you know, like, they're not trying to have a baby, but oh no, she keeps getting pregnant, and then of course we could find out that it's really Gideon, like, doing this on purpose. Like, why in the hell... Why? What? What in the world? Let me just go walk completely out of the way around the chess table. What kind of drunken swerving was that? Dude, Gideon. Anyway, um, so I think, you know, you know, a lot of these pregnancies are going to be, you know, quote unquote, accidental. Um, but of course... You know, Gideon, because Gideon hasn't quite told her. Um. We do, but we're in the middle of woohooing, so we can't. Like, why? Why did you call it the most inopportune times? I should have just waited and not answered the phone. But I hate the fact that if I do okay, it's not like she's going to. It just automatically brings you there, and it's like. Dude, that's cold. Like. I mean, first of all, I shouldn't have answered the phone in the middle of woohoo, but like, you know, could you imagine? Like, yeah, we're having some fun. Oh, bye! What? I, what? Poor Gideon. Like, I mean, good lord. Like, okay, so there's that. Yeah, so. Pleasantly satisfied. Let's have her go take a pregnancy test. I do want it to be a surprise at the same time, but I love having the one-day pregnancy mod because, good lord, I am so impatient. That's why I like, like, short lifespan, because it's like, I'm not too keen on, like, 
I'm not concerned about them. Yes. I'm not too concerned about, like, oh my god, we have to, like, because th this one, I don't have goals. Actually, this one, does this one have, this one for me, I'm using kind of the Highlander legacy, and I'm keeping my air alive, but I don't, I actually don't have rules. I think we do have goals, I think, for the, I don't know if I was playing with goals. I can't even remember, guys, like, I'm so bad. But we know me, I don't really follow, like, rules of challenges too well. I kind of try sometimes to, like, kind of go use them as a guideline just to kind of help keep things interesting so it doesn't get boring or, like... I mean, with, like, with the, like, Pendragon Legacy, yes, I'm trying to do 100... I'm trying to, like, do all of the stuff. I don't remember what I was doing with this one. I think I really just kind of want to go with, and I kind of used it as like, you know, we got to keep him alive and everything like that. And, um, I don't think that there was oh, <laughs> any goals that I was actually working with on this one, aside from just kind of using like the, we're keeping him alive the entire time. And I kind of, there's me like not doing the whole challenge. I mean, it is like a longer challenge. I'm only doing five generations just because that works out perfectly with the naming of the kids. So yeah, I've adapted. <laughs> I adapt all the challenges, but like props to the people who create these challenges. Cause you know, you know me, like I'm terrible, but like, honestly this one, like I think I've gotten totally sidetracked. Like I don't even remember like what I was using with the challenge aside from we've got to keep Gideon alive. I gotta get on the ball. Whoo! Spacey fell off the ball. Big surprise. Always do. Anyway. So we have... This is gonna be our E child. We have to have an E name. And we already had Easton and Everly as the suggested names. And I love those, so we are going to use those. But we definitely need C's and K's and E's and T's and T's. So we're gonna need those eventually. Um, I had a really good name the other day in my head. And I cannot remember if it was a C or a K. And I cannot remember the life of me. Uh, name. I can't remember the name for the life of me. But I had a really good name. And now I forget it. And that doesn't help. Um, I don't know why we're just watching her eat. Um, so, yeah. So she's accidentally pregnant. Quote, unquote. We're going to say accidentally. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This one would probably be planned. <laughs> Like, you know, they just had a new baby and it was really exciting and she's, you know, you know, liked being pregnant and wanted to have another kid. So, you know, their baby's eight growing up. Like, technically, let's Ooh. just, you know, in the real world, you might, like, have a toddler and like, oh, okay, oh, I miss having a baby and you'd want a baby. We don't have toddlers, but, you know, you know, we'll just oh. pretend. So, you know, Boston is going to be so close to... <laughs> anyway I just really love him because of his name I could care less about the baby's name also he's a good baby because he doesn't cry I actually love it and I would actually be totally happy if it was like all of a sudden we got the pop up like oh he needs a feeding he's gonna starve oh sweet like I like the pop ups because they tell me anyway so Gideon's happy he's gonna have another baby he's feeling alone he's enjoying solitude He's pleasantly satisfied for woohooing. He's had a pretty tasty dish. He's getting a new baby. He had a new baby. And he just got married. Like, Gideon's life. Like, my God. He's going to drop dead of excitement. Um, look at how tiny their TV is. And we're going to have to... Uh, you know what? You really should do... Oh, somebody needs to go take care of the baby. But I want you to come here. And I want you to practice your writing. And I want you to come up here and take care of the baby. No, oh, now it's crying. Come here and feed him. So, feed the baby. And when he ages up, we're going to have to get some furniture. But this is cool, because I want to earn some money. So, Gideon's going to have to get busy painting and writing some books and stuff. So, and you need to practice your skills, because you... Oh, you're all set to go to work. Oh, cool. But you have work in two days. So, 
What what level is she? She's at level only at level two. Okay. Well, you know, you know me. Like, I mean, with challenges, I'm not trying to follow this in as in get like aspirations or anything like that because we know Gideon's backstory, like traumatizing past, and I love. I do love the fact that like the warehouse rolled into this one and like you know I like do I like that because it's like we started a new challenge it's a whole new thing and you don't have to follow the warehouse on Black Street Ooh. LP <laughs> you didn't have to watch it to follow this one it does make sense I mean it kind of does like it explains why we're doing the challenge the way we're doing it but um all right so she took care of the baby we're gonna go through this a little bit faster She's got all of her stuff done. What can she possibly do that could help us earn money? Like, she really can't do anything. Except for go to work. But she doesn't have work for two days. So I'm actually thinking that it's 3 p.m. How are her needs? You know what? Why don't you go to sleep? Go to sleep for a few hours. Um, Because I feel like... Where's your writing skill at? Look at all your skills. You have no writing skill. Okay, you suck. Um, so he's going to have to work on his writing skill. He can probably write a children's book. He can write a children's book for each one of his children and are named after each one of his children or her grandchildren. Great-grandchildren. Great-great-grandchildren. Great-great-great-grandchildren. <laughs> um, it's Boston's birthday. Candy. Why don't we come up here and we're going to age him up. I was going to have her go to the club. She really should actually come here and sleep. Um, so actually, oh good, he can self-publish books. I don't know if that's better or worse than selling through a publisher, but... Um, oh, I was like, you're supposed to wake up, you're supposed to do this. We don't have anything. Okay, so I'm just going to... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to... No. I'm changing it. Because every single child I've just been like doing that. I keep doing social butterfly. Um... And he is... What is this? Quirky or... Quirky. That's cute. I like that. That's a custom trait. So let's see. Let's see how quirky you are. Oh my god. I love his hair. Like, I love the hair on him. Like, it just looks wicked cute. I love the fact that his hair is almost like a reddish color. He's got Gideon's eyes. He looks a lot like Gideon. Oh my god. Okay, so I am going to adjust him. And then I am going to... Um... I'm going to try to keep his hair, but we'll see what looks best on him. And then I'm going to add, like, do some bedroom decorations. So I will be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. We're back. I am furious. Oh, my God. Ten minutes fighting. I hate, so freaking hate, CAS sometimes. And I don't know what it is with the custom content for kids. Like, why the hell you change something? Like, okay... I have two versions of this hair, and I guess it's because there's two different, like, color sets or whatever, so somebody probably obviously made their own colors for it, whatever. So, I change it, and this, I'm not even sure if this is the exact color I picked, but I, I changed it to, like, a, it was, like, a darkish reddish brown, you know? So, I changed it to that kind of color. It was a little bit darker, you know, and whatever. Every freaking time I'm in CS, I go to the next outfit. It's a different color. Okay, change it to that color. Finally get them all set. They're all the same color now. Fine. Leave. It come, he comes out with light brown hair. No. That's not what I wanted. Go back in. Change it. Come back out. Light brown hair again. No. I changed it. And like 10 minutes I'm fighting with this. And one time he came out blonde. I don't know how hard it is for CAS with custom content on children to just freaking leave what you pick. Oh my god. It's driving me crazy. It doesn't do this with anybody else but kids. Like what in the balls? Like I, I don't know what is so freaking wrong. But it's killing me. So I'm fighting like hell. His, all of his other outfits probably have the wrong freaking hair color for all I know. And this, like, it, it's hard to tell because in the light, you know, this is, this is, if not right, close to right. Because, you know, his hair was kind of a reddish color. So I was going to make it black, but then I was like, no, because, you know, 
His dad's got dark hair, but he's got, like, you know, his mom is blonde, but he's so freaking cute as a kid. Look at him. He is, like, precious. Like, I want to smack him. He's so freaking cute. And he will probably grow up and be hideous. Like, I mean, I don't know if the issue with the game changing all of my stuff... Like, I, it does this on the 100 Baby Challenge. It would always change. Like, if I changed their hair color, it would change their eye color. That's why I used to put C full CAS mode on. And, I mean, that's just on automatically. So I don't know if that's, like, part of the problem. But, like... Oh my god, it was killing me. Like, I wanted to scream and punch someone. Um, is she okay? She's, like, wicked pale. Like, he had freckles when he aged up, but it, they just look weird on him, so I took them off. So I don't know if either one of his parents has freckles, but because I don't think so. Look at you. Why don't you go take a shower when you're done eating? And then we should probably send you to bed. Oh, and I totally... Oh my god, guys, I am so dumb. Um, all right. I'm sorry. I'm going to pause this again. <laughs> I'm going to go. I forgot to give the kid a bed. So I was fighting with CAS for so long, I totally forgot to do the house stuff. So I will be right back again. Alrighty, guys. Um, okay. So I decorated his room. I just put a bed. He's got a couple of toys because whatever. Um, he's got his violin and I gave him a computer. Oh, we're not even playing. Okay. Let's play. So there we go. Now he's got some place to sleep. I also moved the crib out here. Um, and I figure with this, we can always get two more of those beds and decorate and put them like over here. So we have room for two beds and another nightstand in between. Um, and that would fit three kids in here. And then we can fit at least three or four kids in here. Um, so we'll just have to do something. Cause like this is like in the window. So we'll have to do something like we might have to do like a bed over here, a desk, and then like a couple of other beds over here or something like, um, so there'll be like one desk per room or maybe we'll move the desk out into the hallway or over here when we have all of our kids or something. I don't know. Oh my Lord, child. Did you have to follow your dad into the bathroom? What a weirdo. Anyway, uh, we should actually get some, uh, fun equipment, like play stuff for kids, like at least a jungle gym or something. Um, so I didn't think about that. So, you know what? You know what? We're just going to do that. I'm not going to stop it again because holy crap. Um, build doesn't take half as long when you go. Let's actually go outdoors. Can we do outdoor furniture? Is it outdoor furniture or is it activities? It's activities. Let's see. Do we have anything? Yeah, but do we just have? The oh, I guess we do have all this stuff too. Um, I feel like that's kind of like, I wonder if he can still play in it, even if it's like, I feel like that would be something that would be here, like, no lie, you know what I'm saying? Like, but maybe it's like kind of stuck in the overgrown weeds, like, I wonder if they can still play if it's in the weeds. Oh, good lord, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, come on. Let's just put this kind of like... Kind of over here. He can still play in it. Kind of. It's a little overgrown, but that's fine. And then maybe we'll just get a plain set of monkey bars and put those like back here. Here we go. So he's got stuff to play on. I would like love more industrial kind of ones, but we got to do what we got to do. We got to deal with what we have. Um, what's his deal? What do you what do you want to do, kiddo? Why don't you go do your homework? Why don't you go do your homework? He's going to sit in this parent's bedroom and do his homework. Okay. What's this? Oh, all these photos. Um, we should start a family photo wall like I mean, we have like this whole entire wall could be like our family photos. That's really huge. Um, he's tired. Ugh. 
I want to go, but he's, like, exhausted, and I kind of just feel like that's, like, mean to make him go, you know? So let's see something. We'll put this up. That'll go up there. That's pretty much... That's her and her old. We're keeping new candy. We'll get rid of that. And let's see... Put this one there. So we'll just keep these pictures up. Um, and we'll just start adding to it. So he's sleeping. Why? No, 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 no. Can you go sit here? Get up. You're not supposed to be sleeping in your son's bed. I know he's like... Okay. Now come here and sleep. Go sleep in your own bed. Um... There you go. Now you can do your homework in your own room. Your social skill is low. Why don't you finish your homework? Oh, you're gonna sit on your bed and do your homework, okay. And then we should probably chat in a kid's chat room. Because you're allowed to chat with other kids, but you need your social skill and unfortunately you have no other siblings right now. Um, and where, how is she doing in her... Go pee. Oh, I didn't mean to... God damn it! Stay open! Ooh, she's got third trimester in four hours. We're gonna have the baby in the next episode. We're not gonna have it in this one. Um, yeah, we're not gonna have the baby in this one, so... Guys! Alright, so she's probably only having one, so we have the names for E. We have Easton and Everly. Think of C names. Um, I really wish I could remember the name that I thought of, because I thought of a good one. Is either C or K, and I have no idea. But anyway. So C names, boy and a girl. Um, and I'm going to write them down, and then whatever we have, that's what we're going to go with. Um, so. <gasps> hey, West. Look at you. Aww. And she's like, oh, God. You know what? And now she's she's having hallucinations. It's been a while since she's seen the ghosts. So, of course, Candy sees West and is like, um, wow, you know, what? She's like, it must be indigestion. You know, it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm, you know, pregnant. And of course, you know, like they're all, he's embarrassed and she's sad. And he's like, hey, new friends. And, you know, of course, you know, he's talking to people. And, and you know, Candy and, of course, Gideon don't know. Gideon's sleeping. Candy's downstairs. They don't know. But... You know, he doesn't tell his parents about his imaginary friends because he's like, my parents wouldn't believe me. I mean, normal kids, you know, have imaginary friends. But it's weird because he talks to these ghosts. And, you know, you would think, like, if your kid was talking to someone, you'd be like, oh, they have an imaginary friend. And then they're like, mom, I'm talking to ghosts. What? Like, your eyeballs would be popping out of your head. My my microphone thing is getting a little jiggly and the last time that happened it like broke and I hope it's not breaking. Anyway. Um, so, you know, he's he's like talking to these ghosts. Like, like they're imaginary friends and he knows they're ghosts, but he doesn't think anything of it. He's a kid. You know? You can stop chatting and go pee. And of course, Candy doesn't realize that her son is talking to the ghosts. Like, she thinks she's crazy. You know, because there's dead people. Um... You know. <laughs> of course. Mm, can you come here and repair this? Because I know you're pregnant and all, but I really don't want... I really just don't want to have to replace it and spend the money. But West is a jerk. West is a jerk. And are you still hungry? Why don't you come finish eating your grilled cheese? Um. Oh, dear Lord. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. You guys are banned from the house. Like. You guys are banned from the house. Like, 
What a bag of jerks. And then she's really got to pee. Oh my god, he is such a mess. Like, if they go upstairs and break anything, I'm going to kill them. Oh my god, these freaking jerks. What a bag of... What a bag of dicks. Um, seriously, you're not even kidding. These guys are jerks. And he's all embarrassed about the ghost walking in on him, but like... And then you can go get something to eat, you poor thing. Oh my god. Did you go pee? You did. Okay. Oh, school for Boston starts in an hour. This kid is so cute. What is he doing? Did you not... Where are you... Where... Why in the world would you not mop that puddle right after the first one? Dummy. What? No, 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 no. I don't want to follow him. I don't want to follow him! Why? Stupid. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I'm like trying to throw stuff away. Okay, so she is ready to give birth. That'd be nice if he's fixing stuff. And we're gonna get some money for this stuff at least. Uh... Holy crap, I need to like... We need to scavenge for parts before I throw it away, to be honest with you. Just because. Um, so yeah, of course, you know, everything in the house is broken. And, you know, Gideon knows why, but he's not saying it. And Candy knows why. And of course, then they're kind of like, oh my god, you know. And he's like, you know, I'm exhausted. Like, I just had to get up and I had to like fix everything in the house because all the plumbing was broken and you know of course poor thing she had to pee and she's like hi hey, fix the toilet before I burst you know so they had a little bit of a tiff there you know a little bit of an argument but neither one of them we'll have him let it go uh, well neither one of them will say you know the ghosts because because neither one of them really wants to admit it like he doesn't want to quite tell her what's going on and she doesn't want to tell him that she feels crazy and she's <laughs> seeing ghosts. Uh, we should have to study hard. Uh, she's sleeping. Okay, how's he doing? He's good. Oh, now we're having a baby. Good, 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 good. Okay, so hopefully we don't have... <laughs> she hears She's like freaking out. Hopefully we only have one baby because we don't have C names. And I... Uh, so this is, I would totally stop it here and like mess with everyone, but I can't. Oh wait. Oh shiz, it. Oh well, I forgot. We were having them at the hospital because then we get the birth certificate. It's a girl. Um, no. Blackwell. Gotta remember that. So it is... Everly. Please only have one. <laughs> Thank God. I was like, please don't have two babies now. I did like Easton as a boy's name, though. She's like, oh, God. Oh, yeah, another baby. Holy crap. There's your daughter, who's... So much darker than both of you. Oh, she's got a little bit more of a... So, uh, Boston has a little bit more of Candy's skin tone, but has Gideon's kind of features. And Everly's got more Gideon's skin tone, because she's a little darker. Because he was, like, wicked freaking... He's wicked freaking pale. And she's, like, like ghastly white. Whoa. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. We're having a baby. She's like, dude. It's done. Look at him. Look at him freaking out. I love when they run and freak out. And he's like, oh, Aww. Yeah, Look at your daughter. Isn't that Yo adorable? Why can't I put this plate? Why is that plate hovering? He's going to go running all over. Is he still going to have like a panic attack? Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> when they run like that. Uh, freaking out. Oh my god. 
Anyway, so yeah, so now they have two children, and she is like exhausted mentally and physically because you know, hi, two kids. But anyway, so that will wrap this part up, and when we come back next time, hopefully we have some C names. Um, again, we will probably wait until Everly at least is aging up, or we get her birthday notification before, you know, just like we did with this time before we get her before we candy gets pregnant again um uh yeah but anyway so yeah um uh, remember to leave name suggestions boys or girls or both um for c's and k's just in case we have twins um and actually e i might recycle easton for our next because we will have another e obviously so i will recycle easton just in case uh for the boys name but if we have other girls names you know, um, but yeah, so anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.